Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. We are going to do a morning sequence, getting your day started so you feel a little more limber, a little more at ease, and of course, more balance. Okay, we're going to have our feet hip width distance apart, both sits bones rooted into the chair for this chair yoga sequence. When we do chair yoga, we always want to find a nice sturdy chair, and my preference is without the arms. Okay, we are going to have our hands starting at the center of our body. We're going to gently close our eyes with a nice deep breath in. A nice exhale out. We will set the intention with our hands close to our heart for a wonderful day. We're going to make it a great day. Breathing in. And exhale out. We'll do that one more time, breathing in deeply. And this time as you exhale, I want you to soften the whole body. Exhale out. <sighs> Gently open up your eyes, take your hands down onto the thighs. We're gonna open up with a nice cow pose. Opening up your chest, sticking the tailbone out to the back. Lift your chin up. And then exhale, rounding the back, bring your chin into the chest, reach your fingertips to the front of your knees. Good, do that again. Opening up the heart, roll the shoulders back and down, inhale, and exhale, rounding the back to cat pose. We like to do this at the beginning of our practice because sometimes it nicely helps to open up the heart space, open up our lungs so continue to breathe in and out as we do this articulating the spine breathing in exhale breathing out i want you to find more breath so deep in that breath expand your lungs inhaling and exhaling out Whew. Wonderful. We're gonna come back to that nice rooted seated position into our seated Tadasana, mountain pose. So let's root our feet into the ground, spread your toes, plant those heels down, draw the belly in, open up the heart space, shoulders stacked on top of the waist, take your hands down, open your palms up to me, and breathe in. So while their fingers are reaching down, I want you to lift the crown of your head up to the sky, lengthening the spine. Focus on our breathing in more space into the vertebrae. Inhale, exhale. One more time, breathing in and out. Release and relax. Take the arms all the way up. Inhale, arms up, touch, exhale, hands to the heart. Breathe out, good. Again, breathing in, big breath, big arms. Exhale, hands to the heart. You got it. Breathing in and out. Two more, inhale, nice big arms, big breath. Exhale out, last one. Nice tall posture, breathing in and exhale, breathing out. Let's expand our arms and open up. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Shrug the shoulders up. Inhale and release. Breathe out. Relax. Okay, we'll do that again. Open up. Breathing in and out. Release. Shrug the shoulders up and relax. Okay, again, breathing in three times a charm and out. Shrug them up and release. Okay, let's go ahead and take our right arm. Lift it all the way up stretch to the side. So when we're in this side stretch, we're focused on relaxing the bottom shoulder, opening up this elbow, okay? Keep this top shoulder relaxed as well. Stretching into the side of the ribs. These are the intercostal spaces of the ribs. We're gonna expand for more breath. So one more breath here, in and out. So tighten your belly, come on all the way up, breathe in and release, breathe out. Okay, other side, up and soften. So do you remember what we did on the other side? We're gonna soften and relax this bottom shoulder. We're gonna nudge this elbow up as much as we can, and we're gonna soften this top shoulder. We're focused on softening and breathing also into these ribs, into those intercostal spaces, expanding for more oxygen. One big breath here, breathe in. Ooh, 
breathe out. Well done. Tight belly. Come on up and release. Let's roll the shoulders out for three, two, and one. Perfect. We're going to take our fingertips on top of the shoulders. Up goes the elbows and around. Okay? Five of these. Four. Keep on breathing. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go the opposite way. Only for three, two, one. Why only three? Because we're gonna to start to rotate them inward, one at a time. And you'll notice I'm kind of moving my waist, I'm getting right into this space, opening up my back, making sure that my back is nicely stretched out opening up the back of my ribs, and it's only fair we do the opposite action. So draw the belly in if you need more support in your spine, always protecting that back, and don't forget to breathe. So no holding your breath. Are you breathing? Breathing in, and out. Well done. We're gonna release the hands down, and I want you to shake it all the way out. If you've been on my channel before, you'll know that I'm a registered acupuncturist and I'm a really big fan of tapping out the meridians of our body. Really nice way to wake up the body. So we're gonna start tapping on the top of the shoulders. Come on down, turn the palm up and go ahead and tap on the inside. Go ahead and tap on the up, 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 right into the chest. And go ahead and tap on the top of the shoulder. Tap, 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 down. Turn the palm up and on the inside of the arm. So the yin and the yang meridians of our body. Go ahead and tap right here underneath the collarbones. This is our acupressure acupuncture point. Uh, lung one, lung two. This helps to open up the lung space. So one more breath here while we're tapping. Breathe in and out. Okay, release the hands back down. Take a breath here. Notice how the body's feeling. Inhaling. Exhale. Okay, let's go for a twist. We're going to take our left hand, take it to the outside of the right arm. Take your right hand, place it behind you. Breathe in, lift and lengthen all the way up. Exhale, twist. Now, as you twist, make sure you're not grinding the sits bones into that chair. You're just softening into the shoulders, but nice, tall spine. Okay, breathe in, lift, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Keep the chin right over your sternum here. Breathing in, lift, lengthen, and exhale, twist. And give it a little more like an oomph. We're gonna go breathe in and like oomph it over a little bit. Okay, find your edge. Not too much, not too little, and stay here. Let's look over the opposite shoulder. So that left shoulder, I want you to kind of gaze over. I always like to close my eyes in this position. I'm opening up my chest, my shoulder space, my neck. Nice deep breath here, please. Breathe in and out. Let's do two more. Breathing in and out and in and out. Okay, to come out of this pose, we're going to slowly breathe in and on the exhale, gently unwind. Beautiful. We're going to switch to the opposite side, taking your right hand to the outside of that left thigh, and then we're taking that left hand and let's plant it right behind us. Okay, so we're using it as a kickstand. Inhale, lift, and lengthen all the way up, right through the crown of your head, and let's go ahead and twist. You got it. Breathing in and out. Do you notice how this side may feel a little bit different? Reminding ourselves that practicing yoga is that mind-body connection. So I want you to focus. How does this feel? Does it feel different or the same? Inhaling, lift, lengthen. Exhale, gently twist. Perfect. From here, we're going to soften the shoulders. Stay in this twist. Find your mini edge. And then let's go ahead and gently look over the opposite shoulder. I'm closing my eyes. It helps me to deepen into the stretch. When we gently close our eyes, it sends a signal to the brain. I am relaxed. So are you relaxed in this pose? We're going to inhale. Exhale, relax even more. Help yourself. One more time. Breathing in. And out. <sighs> okay, to come out of the pose, same thing. Inhale. 
and give it a nice breath out as you unwind. Well done. We're gonna take our fingertips in front of us, wiggly, wiggly, wiggly here, and I want you to open up the chest as you play the piano outwardly. And now I want you to play the piano all the way up so the backs of their hands touch. And then I want you to release. <sighs> okay, now playing the piano all the way up, backs of the hands touch, and then release them in front. <sighs> now, imagining that you're brush stroking, opening up, painting a wall in front with your hands. <sighs> Softening the shoulders here, breathing in and out. Again, breathing in and out. One more breath in and out. Well done. Hope this little short sequence will help you to get your day started. If you like what you have seen here, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Take your hands together. Let's close our practice. Namaste.